Hello everyone and welcome, welcome to uh, today's weekly session and uh, the end of the month. My name is Nelly Deutsch and I'm going to be walking you through PB Works today, uh, which is a wiki. So if you could just add in the chat box how you are and where you are and anything else you'd like to add for Saturday or if you're uh, Ireland, I guess it's uh, Sunday. So good to see you. Um, if you're not using uh, the desktop, you're encouraged to use it. Uh, we're ending the month of May and the month of June is going to be full of activities on WizIQ. So I hope you're um, ready with uh, the end of the year, if it's the end of the year for you. And uh, you'll have time away from teaching and a little more time for learning online so it's still Saturday oh it is wait, wait a minute are you in Australia or are you in Italy so if you're in it's Saturday it must be Italy all right so uh, let's get started with um, PB works by the way how many of you have uh, an account on PB works if you could just give me a thumbs up or thumbs down up if you have an account, down if you don't, if you want to get a thumb. All you need to do is go into the uh, smiley, click on it. Oh, you don't? All right. Well, I'm not going to give you my opinion of PB Works, but a lot of my colleagues use it, and so I use it as well. Uh, I've just been appointed to be on the... Um, coordinators team for TESOL for EVO, TESOL. So that should be really exciting. And they use PB Works. Uh, Van Stevens uses PB Works. A lot of people use it. And when others use it, I have no choice but to use it. So yes, congratulations. A lot more work. As they say, they always ask someone who's the busiest because they always have time. Hello, Rosalind Mayers. If you could just add where you're from, since not everybody knows everybody. Um, it'll, uh, Sebastian from Romania. So Sebastian, you might want to try uh, the desktop. Let me add the desktop here. Uh, if you're using... Right now, it's only on a PC, on a Windows system, but it'll soon be... I'm waiting for it to get on the Mac. So it's wizIQ.com desktop. There it is. That should, that should work. And I see Raymond's here. I hope the weather's good where you are. All right, so we've talked about Wikispaces. <laughs> we talked about it last week. And today we're going to be talking about PB Works. These are the most uh, popular wiki educators like Wikipedia. It's a bit different. It has changed. I think there's less action there uh, than in the past because they're developing the uh, Open Educational University. And they're trying to get universities from around the globe to contribute. And that's taking quite a bit of time. All right. So... Um, PB Works is a wiki. It's actually a very, very old wiki, and it has a lot of parts. The part that we're interested in is Edu Hub or the education. And as you know, wikis do have um, a few attributes, and whether they improve teaching and learning for students, teachers, and parents is a big question, but they certainly contribute to a great well-being. Everybody feels very happy when they're collaborating and they know what's going on. So PB Works, if you take a look, thank you. Uh, if you take a look at uh, PB Works, uh, all you need is to Google it. This is what it looks like today. At least that's the front page. Um, the back end looks exactly the same. And on top, you've got products, case studies, articles, just like any other business-looking website. And it also has free and paid programs. 
Uh, the one that I'm in interested in is the education. So let's see what the education has to offer. Hello, Guadalupe from Mexico. So they uh, claim in the Edu Hub that uh, the wiki will transform learning for students and teachers. And I do think that wikis, as I said, have the potential of transforming us. But before we get transformed, we need to have an attitude to collaborating, which means that we have to stop competing and we have to understand that everybody is the same. It's a very philosophical and spiritual journey to get to a place where we are free to collaborate. Okay, and this is something that maybe um, you'd like to get to, maybe not. Oh, we've got Qatar too. Welcome. So the idea is to share information, but you're the one, whoever sets up the wiki is the one with the controls. So whatever you decide, and basically you do have a lot of controls, so it's not giving up your control, it's just allowing people to also help out. And the idea is, of course, that it's done in and out of the classroom, out of the classroom, at home, or on your uh, cell phone, your smartphone, your uh, mobile device, and so on, outside the physical classroom into the online classroom. So let's take a look at it. As I said, you get started for free, but it does have an upgrade. And there are different projects, business as well as educational, but a lot of business too. So don't worry about anything there. Just go to, as I said, to the Edu Hub. It's completely free, but I always like to look at the uh, at the kind of prices that they're asking. Um, not yet, Nevis, but I'm. I know it's going to happen on Moodle very soon, and on other platforms. Right now, um, you cannot integrate a so-called normal wiki into a learning management system, but you can use the PB Works as a learning management system. I know that Atlantic University used um, PB Works as their learning or course management system. Now they use Moodle, so they moved from it to Moodle. Um, it has a lot of um, areas that do look great. So if you're interested, you might really love it. I think that with PB Works, either you love it or you hate it, but I think you'll like it. It feels and looks different from Wiki Spaces. Okay, it has more of a classroom, I think, feel to it. It's a bit closed, so, you know, it's less um, open. So to get started, you click on Select when you go into the Ed Hub, and then you simply sign up for an account or for a wiki. You can have as many wikis as you can, um, so don't feel bad. Hello from Marburg. Hello, good to see you, uh, Christine. All right, so um, you decide on a name. What I don't like about this, even though you can have a customized name, is that you can't put anything there. You just have to put the words together, crunch them up. And then you need to agree that if you're using it for free as an educational site, that it's not for commercial use. Otherwise, you have to pay money. And then you create your account, your name, and so on. And then you go on to the next part. The next part after you sign up, see, I wanted to have a quality of mind. And I wanted to have uh, it hyphenated, kind of, but it wouldn't allow me. So what I had is quality mind and then um, this is it if you go into and you can do this right now if you go into quality we'll go there in a minute because I'd like to collaborate quality mind dot pb works dot com okay that's um, I think it's let's put it this way so you can just click on it Okay, if you try that, you should be able to get there. 
and then you need to um, ask for access. Even though I um, I added it so that anyone can view it. Okay, and then take me to my workplace. So they don't call it a wiki, they call it a workplace. And this is what it looks like. Now there's a lot of information here. And I know that from my experiences with teachers and learners and anybody, um, you know, when there's a lot of information, people kind of shut down. You know, they, they see all this stuff, and even though it's in English or in their native language, whatever it happens to be, they, they find it really difficult to connect to a lot of information on a page. If you are one of those people, could you give me a thumbs up if you find that a busy page is a no-no page for you and you kind of turn off? You need to get motivated to um, kind of read things. Almost the point of, well, you have no choice, so you better read it. All right. Our students are worse. If you, don't, if you find that this is a busy place, and this is just the center of the page, uh, unlike Wikispaces, they have a right sidebar and not a left one. On Wikispaces, you can move it either on the left or the right. It's up to you. But here, it's only on the right. Very good, Christine's. I'm glad you mentioned that. Okay, there's an honest opinion. I hate busy pages, and I'm well aware of the problems with my students, too. Exactly. So if a teacher, you know, if the person in front of a classroom doesn't like busy pages, then, of course, the teacher's going to understand uh, the students. We all have to read. Isn't that amazing, Allison? <laughs> you know... From what you get in, uh, you know, from people who don't, who are not on the internet, they seem to think that there's less to read. But actually, on websites, there is a lot more to read. All right, there's a lot to read. And so if anybody tells you that young people don't have anything to read, there's not much to read, they're wrong. So there's all this information. So let's take a look at it. First of all, number one is the name. Okay, quality mind. Number two, I can go into the settings and decide how I want it to look. And then users is really nice because there's an icon. So number three, I can invite users, add pages, and files. Now notice what's important here. What's important is the red and edit. Now what does edit mean to you? When you see the word edit, what do you think of? Because this is very important on websites, and particularly, <laughs> that's right, particularly in Moodle, but also in the wikis. Okay, edit means change. And change means something completely different, but any kind of change. Very good, uh, Nevis, I'm glad you've added that, because change is the right word. But normally, when people think of edit, they think of working on somebody's written work and making, you know, reasonable changes. So anything that you add new, or if you change anything, edit. So the wiki has two areas. It has the view and edit. So first of all, you see the view, you click on the edit, you're able to edit, and then you save at the bottom, and then you get the view. So the view is actually the front end, and the edit is the back end. Improvements, exactly, Allison. That's what we usually think of when we think of edits. We think of improvements, something very positive. We don't think of adding something new as an edit. We think of something that's there that we want to change. But it's not. In fact, edit is all those things. It's also adding new. So if you want to add something new, it means you have to click on the edit. So I guess the old would be a blank page. So adding to a blank page would mean editing that blank page and adding, changing it from blank to something. Okay, so uh, that's the idea behind it. So this is the front page. That's what it looks like at the beginning. Next is the right bar. Okay, the right bar of the wiki. 
where you can make all kinds of changes that will go in the center or will remain on the right. So the right sidebar has a navigation bar where you can do the following. You can have a blank page that you can add stuff on. You can, and this is Nevis and anyone who wants to create a course, this is really important. You can create a course and then the front page. When you create a page, you're creating a page to, uh, to courses. I just had a drink there. You're creating pages, okay, to courses. Now, what does a page mean to you? <laughs> Thank you, Allison. Uh, never delete a navigation bar. I don't think so. I don't think there's such a thing as not being able to. But if anything happens, they've got a great support team. Allison, has it ever, come, ever happened to you? One paper, endingly long. <laughs> I love that. Yes. I hope you join the Moodle starting tomorrow, and you'll see how we can make the long pages on Moodle very, very short. Oh, you were warned? I don't think so. All right, but we can try. You can create a wiki and try anything and see if um, you can't retrieve it. So you can create a page. You can upload files on the page, invite people, and so on. Add tags. Do you know what tags are? Anybody tags? Not on your clothing. Right, they help you find things. Search, it's a label, exactly, very good. These are different labels, keywords, excellent. That's right, they used to be called more keywords than anything, now they're called tags in the old HTML days. You can also copy pages, which is great. You don't have to do it twice. And check for plagiarism. Okay, so that's your right sidebar. Sidebar, okay, here it's two words, should be one. And then you can edit the sidebar. But when you edit the sidebar, it comes to the center. So you have a lot of workspace. Okay, so I want to edit the uh, sidebar. I click on the edit, and then I get a rich editor with all this information that I can add. Okay, now most of it is clear. Most um, rich editors are the same. Okay, so we don't have to relearn anything. But notice again the top menu here. There's the very top my PB works, which are all the wikis that I belong to or that I own. The workspaces is where I work on wikis with others. And Quality Mind is this one. So there's the wiki, pages and files that I want to add, the users. Okay, it's organized nicely in the settings. And this is the sidebar where I can add anything, including images, multimedia, and videos. Okay, so this is a, a closer look at what's here. Notice there's also syllabus. Now this is wonderful. Okay, this is really important for teachers if you want to create a course. And that's why PB Works is great for uh, courses. And you might want to do this. Prepare something in the summer uh, for next year. Uh, in September or October, whenever you start, and you can add assignments, activity, you can track the activities, uh, which is really great of the students. Uh, the tracking system on a wiki is amazing. Any wiki has a tracking system. It's not as good as uh, Moodle, but it's, uh, it's really nice. Yes, Nevis, I think that you will find, as I said before, I think you'll find uh, PB Works. Um, wonderful as a teacher i'm not sure well your students are going to enjoy it but i don't know if you're going to be able to um, collaborate as much as you would on wiki spaces but i think it's nice and then of course there is meetings you can have meetings and the front page okay and this is again you've got the same thing here 
Now, the only uh, difficulty is adding images. For some reason, they've put the images, just like in Wikispaces, as something external. You can upload files or insert images with a URL, with a link. Okay, and here's an example. I uploaded an image. It's called Nelly, but it's just a name. This is the image for the sidebar. Okay, so this is what it looks like on the side. You'll see in a minute. Now, this is something that may confuse you, but I want you to look at it and tell me if it reminds you of anything. This big box. Does it remind you of anything? Notice exactly. I think that you should really look at it. Now, you have it on a Moodle. You have it in this WizIQ class. You have it everywhere. So it's become quite um, an icon for, di for the same thing in different uh, websites and uh, programs. What's important here is that you click it to expand, but you click on the same place to decrease whatever it is, to, make the, to minimize the page. Okay, So keep that in mind. If you're going to try something, you have to know how to bring it back, and this may confuse you. Now, the important thing after you make the changes on a wiki is to save. Now, what's the difference between save and save and continue? Okay, if you could add that in the chat box. Thank you, Guadalupe. That's right. Enlarge and minimize. Save closes. That's right. Okay, so keep that in mind. Remind your students too. And save and continue means that it stays the same. It just goes from edit, the edit mode, to the view mode. That's all. But you're still in the same place and you may not sense that you're somewhere else. Okay, this is what? You tell me. Is this edit or view? Edit or view. Let's see. How do you know? How do you know? Because of the top. <laughs> Yeah, but how do you know it's edit and not, sorry, how do you know it's view and not edit? There's no rich text. That's right. There's no edit anywhere. There's no edit button. Okay, you can't edit. So, all right. So if you want to edit whatever you have here, you have to click on the edit. And it's really tiny. Okay, it's very, very small, which makes it difficult for some any questions so far? If you could just add in the chat, I'm gonna get real hearing me. Oh, okay, great. I took away my webcam because um, it told me to. Mm. It gets to be a routine. Oh, okay, that might be good. Yeah, but. It is kind of small. Hello, Hassan. Good to see you. Oh, you did. You had to uninstall it. So you should contact support or reinstall it. Ah, the fact that it's small. Yes, it is, it's, it's very, very tiny. All right. So let's take a look at the right sidebar. Sidebar is one word here. Okay, and the important part here is invite people. And that's what I want to do. I want to invite you. So again, uh, the link I just added before. What I want to do is I want to go over there, but I want to see you there too. So I'm going to screen share so we can all go over there. Okay, let's see if I can get it. There we go. Okay, are you ready? Oh, you sent a request. Oh, you're fast. That's great. All right, so I'm going to go over there and take a look at your requests. And, um, okay, I, I'm going to freeze for a minute, or the system's going to freeze for a second while I screen share because I'm on a Mac. And um, I need to go through the Java and agree. So while, while I'm doing that, it generally freezes the system, and then you just have to wait around. I wonder how long. Let me time it this time and see how long it takes. But actually, the timer doesn't work either. 
it always scares me. I feel like, oh my gosh, I've lost everybody. But it always comes back. Okay, I think I'm back there. Okay, now my voice is back. Sorry about that. It always happens. Okay, yes. <laughs> but you'll hear this. I'm trying to record it. I hope the recording will come out today because I'm doing it through um, QuickTime and not Camtasia. Because Camtasia, for some reason, talk about technology, just disappeared from my Mac. I don't know how it disappeared. And I just noticed it now. So um, couldn't record with it. All right, so let's go to PB Works. Um, here we are. I hope you can see that. Okay, there you are. So uh, let's see what's going on here. I am in quality of mind and I'm interested. Oh, I, sh I need to log in, it says here. Okay, I need to log in. I thought I was logged in. All right, so let me log in. I logged out. There's the uh, request, request access. Okay, so uh, let's see. Let's see if anybody uh, invite people. Let's see who's here. So I can approve them. Okay, here is the uh, the settings. Okay, that's the title. Actually, I want to call it quality of mind. That was just for the link. Quality of mind. That's what I called the uh, the other one too. Quality of mind description. I'll get that later, and then um, save. Okay, so they call this the works workspace okay and then I can change the colors too okay um, I like the color that it is now it's a nice calm color okay I'll save it and then um, logo I'm not going to add well, let's go to users okay let's see if anybody has asked I don't, oh, three people, okay? Here's a pop-up. Three people have requested access. So I'll give you access, approve, approve. And I'm not sure who AIR is, A-I-R. Okay, now I can make you, notice, I can make you a writer. I can make you administrator. I'm going to make you administrator so you could do everything that, you can play around on this, okay? There, I've made you administrators. Uh, so you could do everything that I can. And let me uh, refresh the page and see if others have joined. Unverified. I'll hear someone. I guess you need to verify your email, uh, Motoray. Okay, they're approved. Allison, I approved you. Now I'm going to make you guys administrators so that everybody can... There, you're all notice what they have here editor, writer, reader, page level only. So, your students would be um, they could be writers or readers. Okay, I, I don't know if I would make my students editors. Okay, and then I'll refresh in case somebody else has. Oh, there's one more approve. Ah, Guadalupe, Guadalupe, you need to go to your email and um. I'll make you administrator. And also, uh, see, it says unverified, which means that you need to uh, do that, verify your account. Okay, I think that, um, let's see if anybody is playing around. Okay, so everybody, you see, I can also delete. I don't see anybody there. Isn't that interesting? You're not there yet. It says never, never. So, uh, Let's go into the wiki and let's have some fun. All right, so are you here? Are you here? By the way, next month I'm going to be working on uh, Google Drive. So we'll be doing, you'll see the difference in collaborating with Google Drive, which is completely open.
Okay, so I don't I don't see you for some reason. I approved everybody, but I don't see anybody here. And then uh, we'll get to Wiki Educator too, hopefully. Um, soon. So I don't see anybody here for some reason. All right, I want to see you here on the wiki. Maybe you need to go to your email and get that sorted out. So I, if you could add to the comments, that would be great. If you're here, if you could add to the comments. Let's go into edit and see if anybody's here. Uh, I'm going to remove all this. You can notice there's also um, a community of educators. Okay, but I'm going to remove all that so we can add something unique. Okay, so feel free. Feel free to add to this. Okay, wiki page. It's the front page. Okay, now I'm in edit mode. I'm going to save. Notice the save is very tiny at the bottom left. I'm going to save and continue. And then I'll be in the view mode. Okay, there we are. But I don't see anybody. All right, so let me go back and see what's going on while you're not here. But before I do, let's see if anybody else needs approval. Oh, I see. Okay, Allison is here now. And Kirsten is here. And the others are not here yet. Okay, so let's see if anybody's doing anything here. Oh, great, great, great. Now I see you. Okay, there, Kirsten said, said. Um, here I can reply. Hi, I've just, are you there? I've just logged in. I've just logged in. Isn't that wonderful? What's exciting about the Wicked and class, kids in school love it. They love the fact that they can use their you know, whether it's their smartphone, whatever, and they can actually chat like this. And what I do is that, because I'm an English language teacher, I take advantage of this and I don't let them talk. I say, you can't talk. You can only text one another. They love it. So, um, you know, it's a way for them, and they can only do it in English, of course. So uh, they, they get a kick out of the wikis because they don't really, they do a lot of chats on Facebook, but they're not really involved in wikis. Okay, so let's, let me refresh the page and see if anybody else is there. So it's really nice to be on a page and, um, and to work on it. Okay, let me just make sure that other people did not join so I can, um, someone has requested. Okay. Uh, you can do this in the classroom too, by the way. You, don't, you can actually enroll your students. Okay, let me make you administrator. Okay, you also need to verify Hassan. Okay, let's see if anybody, we've got Hassan, and I think that's it. Users, okay, so these are the people. Everybody, oh, great, so just Hassan and Guadalupe are not here yet. Everybody else is here, so we can uh, play around on the wiki. So uh, say, um, what do you think? What do you think of PB? PB works so far. Okay, so you need to explore, take a look, play around. See, it moved. I didn't do anything. That must have been someone. Okay, and we can go. As far as the editing goes, I'm not sure that you need to edit one at a time, which is very different from Google Drive, but we can try. Um, you can't edit at the same time. Okay, you need to refresh, and that's one thing. In other words, you have to take turns adding information or editing. So it's, uh, that's in any, that's in wiki spaces too, and every other kind of wiki except for Google Drive. That's the only wiki that you can um, actually be there and do stuff at the same time. 
And notice here, this is the enlarge switch to full screen. Okay, now it's full screen. And notice if I want it back, I need to uh, switch to its normal view in the same place. Uh, Moodle also has this. Even though it's not necessary, Moodle 2.6, but you'll see that starting tomorrow. All right, so let me go back to class. I think that let me just go to users to make sure that um, everybody's here. I didn't miss anyone. Access. Did I miss anyone? Let me see. No, nope, nobody's trying to access. Okay. All right, I can do that later. By the way, you get email notifications, which is really nice, so you don't need to stick around. So I'm going to stop screen sharing. How was that? Okay, here is the, the link again if you came in late, because I see there's uh, someone else here. If you came in late, there's the link. You need to request access. That's right. And uh, you seem to have lost your way. Rosalind, uh, did you just come in now? Uh, you click on that. And as uh, Neva says, you simply request access. The request access is also kind of tiny. And then I'll give you access as soon as you give me a thumbs up that you're in there. All right, so let's um, continue with create your student's account. This part I really like, the fact that you can create accounts for your students. Because as I said, they don't like to use their emails. They can't remember their emails. They manage to get into Facebook, and that's it. So if they can't join um, sites through Facebook, then forget it. What do you mean, Nellie's? You can't even steal. And then number two, okay, this is where you add the user's email if you want to invite somebody. And then, of course, you notice that I made you all administrators, but you can also be writers, editors, and so on. Any questions so far? It's all locked, Allison, but you were there, weren't you? Is there... Uh, let me go back and see what's going on. I'm in, but it says it's all locked. I work. I don't know if they need working tonight. You like it. I told you you're going to like it, Nevis. I know you. I know you were going to like it. All right, so let's go back and see what's going on there. Um, request access. Maybe I shouldn't have made you... Uh... How could it be locked when I've given everybody access? Let's see. Oh, maybe it was locked when I was in there or somebody else is in there. Uh, try now. Nobody's editing now, Allison. So let's see if you can go in there now. Uh, we'll see what's going on. Yes, you do. There's a question there by Kirsten. Do you have to refresh? Yes, you do. Yes. You need to refresh the page to view it, to view the changes uh, that others, if it's uh, at the same time that others have made. Okay, there, I added my comment. Actually, it refreshes itself. Uh, you said locked. Hmm. I don't think it's locked. Settings. Nothing is locked here. Um, it's completely open. But let me just check to make sure. Uh, license. Maybe the license. I don't know what the license. Enter license key. If you have a license key from PB Sales, please enter it here. Find out more about Enter a license. I don't know what that is. That's if you want to upgrade and not pay, maybe. Let's see if there's anything else. Oh, there are keys. Oh, look, there are keys here. This features then to advanced technical users. Oh, no, these are API keys. Uh, nope. 
I don't see any keys or anything. I know I made it public. So you want to try again? No. So I'm not sure. Um, oh, I had, oops, sorry. I got to get rid of my, um, that's what I found on front page. It was, I think so. It looks nice. <laughs> you like it. Okay. Hello, Stella. Good to see you. Look, join the, um, the wiki PB works. Ask for access and I'll give it to you. All right. So you've joined. Okay. You've actually done it before I said anything. Just need to remember name. Um, you need to request access and then you simply log in to that part. Maybe, Allison, you've got um, other sites open. I'm not sure, but what we can do, where is, ah, uh, here it is, sorry. What you can do is this. I got this in the mail right after I signed up and um, they have PB Works 101, which I think is really great. PB Works 101. PB Works 101 offers you a chance to get a tutorial on how to use it. Isn't that wonderful? So they, uh, they will teach you how to use it. Okay, it's called PB101. And they hold these webinars once every month. So once a month, you can take these webinars and learn how to use it. Raymond Anderson, I made you, um, I made you administrator. Administrators can do anything. Okay, and then you need to sign up. And if that doesn't work, you simply open up their manual and take a look at that. Okay, so uh, Nevis, have you tried it? Shall we take a look? Oh, it works, wonderful. All right, so if it works for one person, it works for everybody. So let's go back there now and see what's going on. Okay, let's see what's going on. Because everybody's an administrator, so it should be working really well. So let's go into quality of mind. Let's see if we have uh, some new people. We do. Someone request an access. Stella. Hello, Stella. And I'm going to make Stella an administrator. That means she can do anything. Okay, now you're an administrator. And let's see what's going on. Um, we're going to go into the wiki. And okay, I see. Look, look what it says here. It says that Nevis and Taurus, see, is editing the page. So it's locked. Right now the page is locked because uh, Nevis is working. So uh, we can steal the lock. Okay, but I don't think it's ethical. Let's see if there are any questions here. Uh, Raymond said, oh, what did you say? Only you have editing rights. It's locked because uh, someone else is there. But we can steal. Anybody want to try stealing? I don't like stealing. So write something very quickly. We can't all be on the same page with this kind of, as I said, that's the only annoying thing about the wikis, except for Google Drive, which is why I use Google Drive more extensively. But if you want to have a course like course management system, learning management system for your classes, then PB Works and Wikispaces are probably the best. 
Let's see if she's still there, because here you have to take turns. Oh, she wrote something. Here we are. Feel free to add, <laughs> I stole the key. <laughs> she's, who stole the key? Raymond is now editing. Isn't this cute? You can see what your students are doing. Now Raymond is editing. I wonder what, anybody add an image or something? So it's working. You'll just have to wait your turn. So this is maybe a good thing and helps us uh, learn to be patient. And while you're waiting, you could always, uh, <laughs> no, I think Raymond stole the key. Um, let me make sure that other users haven't joined. Oh, someone has asked for a request. Okay, approve. And you are an administrator, so you can do anything. Okay, Balk, Balkhoyor. Let's see if there's anybody else. All right. So uh, let's see what Raymond has added. You're all here, right? Uh, let's go back to the wiki. Oh, I got it for a bit. What, did somebody steal it from you? Oh, yes, yeah, Stella did. <laughs> Stella stole from... So you can see exactly who stole. So it's, it's really opaque. You know exactly what's going on. So now Stella is editing the page. And you can go into history and find out exactly what they did. So if you go into page history, uh, you see that um, the revisions... Okay, and you can either delete or you can go back. You can compare. So we know that, um, we know what they did too. You can see what they did. And then you can see that who was there. Okay, again, uh, you see that Raymond is there now. And you can also tell how long they were there. He was there for a minute. He was there a minute ago. And that's how it's done. So let's go back to class. We'll stop screen sharing before we get time to. All right. So that's basically um, PB Works. Now, someone asked me, I think, um, was it you, uh, Kristen? Asked me about the time. The time. How long does it take to create a course, uh, say, on PB Works or on Wikispaces? or on Moodle, or on WizIQ, or anywhere else. Okay, how long does it take? You lose the key only if someone, only if someone, someone grabbed it from you, Raymond. See, people here want to go in there, so they're grabbing keys. Depends on the material. Thank you, Hassan. Depends on what you put in to time. Exactly. Very good, Allison. Depends on your attitude to time. Um, <laughs> student administrators. Yeah. Well, it, it, it will be the same thing, you know. It doesn't matter whether they're administrators, uh, Nevis, or whether they're writers. It's still the same story. Uh, you can't all be there at the same time. You can't edit at the same time. Okay, it's one editor at a time. Anything else? Um, what I suggest is not to completely finish a course because often um, we change what we do in the courses when we get to know our students. It's very hard to start a course and to complete a course without knowing your students. Even if you know your students, things happen. And editing courses should be something that you're open to. So just have the basics of what you want, unless you've given a course before, and then be ready to add things. And don't feel like you have to stop. Creating a course should be an ongoing process. And then you'll be able to 
get templates of your courses. And if you're using, say, Moodle or other course management systems, you can always save it and import it back into your course area. Now, Raymond saying means setting protocols best. Yes, you could do that. But if you're in class, then the only thing you could do is wait and add comments, chat in the com in, in the comment box. I finally send my request for access with my email. Oh, you did, Rosalind? So let me go in and, and um, make sure that I give you access. Yes, I see two more people. So we've got, okay, and I'll make you a administrator. And then, okay, great. So we've got two more administrators. Okay, so the idea is to go into the wiki. And, oh, I got it for a bit. Nice link to share with you. Oh, wiki, wiki matrix. That looks interesting. There are a lot of wikis out there. Oh yes, that looks like an old, that's the original wiki, isn't it? Uh, wiki matrix. That looks like something really, really uh, ancient, but a lot of fun. Well, I'll tell you the, the wiki that I love the best. The wiki that I love the best I can add it to the chat. The wiki that I love the best is called Wiki Educator. And I don't think there's anything like it. It's like Wikipedia. It's based on Wikimedia, which is exactly the same. But what's nice about Wiki Educator is that it's addictive. Um, you don't realize how much time you spend there because it's so much fun but you have to know what you're doing. Okay, so there, there's the link to Wiki Educator. I suggest you go in, create an account, and explore. And if you have any problems, let me know, because actually I'm the admin of Wiki Educator. So um, if I don't like something, I'm like the policeman. I can delete any page. Yes, Stella, it does. It, it's, it's a really nice idea. But the, the matrix itself is an old wiki, which is really great. It looks like Cunningham's first wiki. So how many of you have, Stella, have you used wikis before? Let me try to get you um, Cunningham's Wiki. Cunningham's Wiki is called WikiWiki Web. Okay, let me get it for you, which is kind of nice. Um, it's, where is it? There it is. It's quite, um, I would say, primitive in the sense, not negative, but very, very basic. Okay, there it is. That's the man who started uh, the wiki uh, is Cunningham. He's the man behind uh, the wikis. And the wiki matrix is, uh, is also a wiki. Okay, I don't know what kind of wiki it is because it's not a media wiki. Um, it's a different kind. No, 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 not Richie Cunningham. Uh, let me, let me get it for you. No, 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 no. It's, uh, let me, uh, get the, it's not that it, he started the wiki wiki web. Here is Cunningham. It's Ward Cunningham. There it is. Okay, there it is. Ward Cunningham. Okay, he started the Wiki Wiki web. <laughs> Richie. 
All right, so are there any questions about PB Works? You now know how it works. And we can continue collaborating there. You can play around. You can use it as a sandbox for yourself. Okay, and um, you can invite your friends. Okay, so I'd like to thank you. Uh, tomorrow is June 1st, and we're starting Moodle MOOC 4. Okay, we started last year. There are three MOOCs a year. And this year, I mean, this uh, month of the Moodle MOOC is going to be a bit different, and you'll notice the difference. First of all, we're using 2.6. We'll be using 2.7 in the next MOOC, and hopefully in, um, in August. So we're using Moodle 2.6. It's a bit different. And you've got two venues. You can get a certificate for just watching the live recordings and badges for doing the Moodle. There are 28 presenters and 34 for presentations. And this time it's going to be divided into Moodle presentations about how to use Moodle, and I'll be giving those, and about other things. So there are two venues. One is just the presentations, one is just the Moodle, and a combination is at least one presentation a day. Uh, getting you won't get lost this time. You will not get lost. I guarantee you, Nevis, you will not get lost. Um, as Nancy said, it took her, Nancy Zingrona, it took her, I think, something like four years until she finally got it. And now she's been an administrator of Moodle for the past three years. So she's really a Moodle expert. Let me get the uh, the Moodle link for you. So this time you will not get lost, promise. So here, there's the link to the Moodle MOOC. Uh, the live sessions are going to be amazing and you'll learn a lot about Moodle. So uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you there. Thank you. No, it won't. You'll get it. You'll get it. And this time I'm holding hands. Anybody who needs my hand, I will take them by the hand because I'm going to have a lot of time. Okay, until I go to Finland, of course. We're going to have a break in Finland. Anybody who wants to visit and meet with me, I'll be in uh, Tampere in Finland from the 22nd until the 28th of June. So thank you. I hope I will. I hope the weather is going to be nice too. So thank you. And I'm going to be giving a Moodle workshop there, face to face. So see you. Have a wonderful rest of the weekend and week. See you tomorrow, I hope. Should be fun. Bye-bye. Thank you.